Who's got two thumbs, bat wings, and a dolphin tail and likes to blow things up with spaceships? That's right. This guy. It's Raiden 5. Being played here on the PlayStation 4. I love this recent resurgence in big name spaceship shooters like Darius and Raiden on the PlayStation 4 and Vita. Even the Nintendo Switch is getting a nice collection of the old SNK spaceship games. Which means it's only a matter of time until we start to get new Alest, Musha, and Truxton. How about some more Thunder Force games, Sega? Until then, we've got Raiden 5, which is good fun. Now, I have a few issues with the game, all directed at presentation, but otherwise, it's a great time. Raiden 5 has a plot and some voice dialogue, which you can thankfully turn off. If I want a plot, I'll go watch a movie. I'm here to blow up things with spaceships and homing lasers. And in that respect, Raiden 5 does a great job. As you may have noticed, there's three ships to choose from, and you can make some weapon loadout decisions. Does it launch more crystals? How did they get here before we did? The enemy in the air, no weather. Annihilate the enemy that invaded the LHC facility. They've done it in an organized formation. They have a commanding officer or something? A commander among the first place? I was speaking hypothetically. There's no doubt that there must be some core that's giving orders. I've grown quite fond of the purple homing lasers which remind me of the Race Storm games. One of the things that makes this game unique is that you don't have lives like you do in most spaceship games. You have a shield, which you can see there on the bottom left. Your ship can take a couple hits before it's destroyed. And occasionally, you can replenish your shield, which is super awesome. Raiden 5 is a lengthy game, and the director's cut comes with a CD soundtrack, which is cool. Each of the ships has a different shield strength. This is the slowest, but the strongest. So good for me, because I have a tendency to just fly into enemy fire. Which can be tricky to see, there's a lot going on in the background, and I don't really care for what the designers have done to the sides of the screen. At first, it, it kind of gives the game a bit of, uh, like an anime style, like, like you're watching an adventure and there's characters sort of talking to you. But after a while, it's like, okay, I just want to make all that go away and just, just have like a blank screen or put pictures of Dig Dug or something in the background. And even though I've played lots of games by now, I've had a good time playing Raiden 5, I still have no idea how the cheer system works. I am All that I know is that the more things you blow up, the more cheer that you somehow accumulate, and then you can spend that cheer on bonus weapons, which, to be honest, sounds pretty cool. Like, I wish I could do that in real life. Like, hey, I'm going to accumulate cheer all day. I'm going to watch a bunch of cat videos and max out my cheer gauge, but save it for the drive home where I will unleash my cheer in the form of homing missiles upon the slow idiots in front of me who can't drive. That's how the cheer meter needs to work in real life. I like the music, the controls are spot on, the spaceship and weapon selection is excellent. In fact, pretty much everything in Raiden 5 is exactly as it should be, 
Except I can't for the life of me find an option to turn off that stuff on the sides of the screen. Now eventually, you just you just tune it out, or at least I figured out how to tune it out. I put blinders on like a horse and just ignored it. It's possible I missed something, but I, I don't know. Why bother giving these games storylines? You don't play it for the story. Like most of these games, there's a nice variety of backgrounds and colors and the enemies just get ridiculous at some point. They just fill the screen with bullets, forcing the player to memorize the attack patterns and certainly approach some of the later levels with a full complement of bombs and cheer. Don't forget the cheer. I'm very pleased with this game. It provides some great replay value, and of course, there's good old school two-player on the couch, simultaneous co-op, invite a friend over, and destroy enemies together. It's Raiden 5. Good job, except next time give me more screen options, like removing everything. You know what you could do is just put some duct tape on your TV. That'll take care of it. Classic Game Room has been brought to you by the ultra massive video game console guide 230 pages of video games on Amazon.com, Retro Megatrex, and how to make a video game review show that doesn't suck. And Jesus number two. Welcome to the Patreon Lord Carnage Club being shouted from a turbo volcano. Michael and Ariana Nelson, Ian Shore, Stephen Chucknick, Al Stever, Rick DeBarros, Jason Goy, Andy Schleiss, Sergio Matthias Hergert, Philip Straubenmuller, Jack Stavris, Ohad Kane, Simon Allen, and Sean Zoltek.